Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the We All Juggle Knives channel. It's been about three years since I did my first video on micro EDC kits, right? And in that three years, I have accumulated a lot of pouches that are very useful uh, for different sizes of everyday carry items. All right, so this video is going to be fast and furious. I'm going to go through all of these uh, pouches and I will include Amazon links if you want to pick any of these up. Most of these are very affordable. I think the most expensive one is that Maxpedition, but a lot of these are $5, $10. Now, in order to better demonstrate the pouches, I'm going to basically show you samples of items that you could fit in each pouch. So I have these tools and items arranged in groups. The lower row is the, the smaller stuff about, you know, two to two and a half inches in length. And then that quadrant up there is the larger or full-sized stuff. So you have multi-tools that are between four to four and a half inches and a flashlight that's around four and a quarter inches. And that section over there is the middle category. That's stuff that's around anywhere between like three inches to let's say three and a half. A lot of your typical Swiss Army knives and like a regular size lighter are that size. Now to save time, I'm also going to include links to all this stuff. I'll just include a list of all the links and there'll be Amazon links. So if you want to pick any of these up, you can do so. And that does help support the channel. Now these three pouches are lens cases, so their original mission is to protect sensitive equipment such as camera lenses, but I have found that lens cases actually lend themselves to a lot of other uses. Most of them are padded and they allow easy access uh, from the top. You can see all your gear. Uh, that small one is the Olympus lens case. That is only $8. All right, the one next to it, that's the uh, Oryx gear. That is $13. And then the Ape case, the largest size, that is $11. Now this Olympus case is fairly short. Like this is just a lighter, regular size lighter, The Walking Dead, you can get at any gas station. And as you can see, it's shorter than a regular lighter. But because of the diameter here, this can actually hold a ton of stuff. All right, let's see what we can fit in here. Unveiling. I was able to cram just a huge amount of basically almost everything from that smaller category. Yeah, so as far as micro sized items, this case is king. This case will hold just as many, as many little gadgets as you want. And as you can see, because it's a lens case, it's also padded. I mean, that's nice if you have anything uh, fragile for some reason that you need protected. The only thing I don't like about this case, there's no belt loop. No belt loop. So you're going to have, if you want to carry this on your belt, you're going to have to rig something up. Okay, next up, the Oryx gear. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but that's that animal there. That, that's what that is. Now this does have belt loops too. Nice. And what can this hold? This can actually hold a lot of full-size to mid-size gear. I mean, here I got the, uh, the rebar, the wave, the uh, S2 juice. Yeah, so in real life, I wouldn't carry that many multi-tools. So multi-tool, lighter, flashlight, and look how much extra room. You have enough room for a first aid kit, uh, you know, your car keys, uh, stuff like that as well as like, let's say an emergency, uh, a power bar or something like that. Yeah, this has a huge amount of room. And this also has a lot of thick padding to protect your stuff. That's all, that's all cushioned right there. Also has another loop on the top, right? So you can, you could theoretically attach another pouch onto that. And next up we have the Ape case. This is the largest of the lens cases. And this one is really nice. It has a lot of uh, cushioning inside and it also has belt loop, right? Velcro there and Velcro there. So horizontal and vertical. And it has two external loops that you could put uh, like a pen or uh, like those uh, tactical pens. You could put 
a flashlight if it was kind of shaped as a pen, but yeah, two external loops. And what can we fit inside? You know, you can fit some big full-sized uh, multi-tool type stuff. Wow, <laughs> the camera freaks out a little at that yellow, but it's high-vis yellow. So this is my Super Tool 300, a fairly large multi-tool. It's about four and a half inches uh, long. And then my Zebra Light. But wait, if you want even more room, you can basically, you can pull out some of the padding. Let's switch gears a little. Those lens cases, pretty useful. Sometimes you might be going to some place where you need something that's like a little more classy, you know, nothing with tiger stripe camo or uh, tactical black SWAT team gear. Sometimes you kind of want to blend in. And that's where uh, leather pouches like this come in. Now this is the Viger or Viger, I don't know, but it came with that VIP. Whoa, right this way, sir. No, yeah, VIP, but you know, it's basically a nice looking classy pouch with three different compartments. Now, first of all, it does have a wide belt loop there. That is nice. Uh, the first compartment, I think that is for your electronic devices perhaps, that you got. You can hold like a full size, again, the largest multi-tool in my sample here, the Super Tool 300, and a fairly large flashlight, and that's only in uh, one compartment. And then in the other one, I was able to uh, fit just some smaller size. And again, you're not gonna carry three different multi-tools, but this is just to show you like what can fit in there. There's a little half divider in there too. Yeah, so this pouch, it's, uh, it's verging on being like a fanny pack. I mean, it's still a pouch, but you can hold a lot here. This would be more for if you're going on a, a little short vacation or something and you want to be able to uh, have some stuff with you. I mean, more than enough room for, again, some emergency, uh, some snacks, you know, some first aid supplies as well. So... Yeah, the classy leather pouch. Oh, and the price on this was $20. Not bad, not bad considering what you get. Next up is the Optech USA pouch. It's got two zippered compartments, right? And this is neoprene, right? And then the, uh, it's got a belt loop, Velcro there, like so. What can we fit in here? Well, in the larger compartment, you can hold medium-sized items, uh, such as flashlight, a full-size lighter, and a medium or medium-small-size multi-tool, right? Or a Swiss Army knife could also fit in there. In the smaller pocket, you can basically fit all the micro-sized stuff. What do we got in here? We've got a Nightcore tube light, we've got a Leatherman squirt, I've got a little uh, a butane lighter. Right, so medium stuff in here, micro stuff in here, and it's fairly flexible and stretchy because it is neoprene. Yeah, I, I definitely like this one. It has a lot of the uh, qualifications that I like for a small pouch. For any like mini or micro EDC, I prefer two pockets because I keep my first aid stuff in one pocket and then my uh, tool stuff in the second pocket. And I also prefer them to have a belt loop. Next up, the Maxpedition Barnacle. This was about $20. It's got a Velcro compartment that's just very flat. I guess that's for cash and credit cards, perhaps. And it has a zippered pocket with two compartments. Wait, hold on. It also has molly webbing on the back. And this is fairly thick. I mean, you can tell they wanted to make it so that it could withstand some abuse. It's got a divider, two compartments, capable of holding a uh, four inch long multi-tool, as well as a flashlight. However, the, uh, the big divider in here makes it kind of just inconvenient for fitting a flashlight in there because, you know, it's not as flat as the multi-tool. 
So yeah, the divider, it just, it's, it's fairly thick. It does take up a lot of internal space. So I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I guess it's useful unless you, unless you're trying to fit this flashlight in. So I will include some Maxpedition links. If, if they don't make this anymore, I'll include links to whatever their current models are. So just check the links for updates. All right, this pouch. Now this is one of my favorite overall in the whole, uh, the whole video, especially for micro EDC. It's got two pockets, right? Zipper closures, belt loop. This comes in four or five different colors. Uh, like I think they have tactical black and three other types of camo. I just like the, uh, the woodland camo. This was a lot more popular when I was a kid, this camo scheme. But yeah, I really like this one because it's exactly what you need for going micro. What can we what can we fit in here? Basically, a whole little micro toolkit. You got a mini lighter, multi-tool, nice four sevens flashlight, a little utility cutter, and even a little pry bar. So a whole a whole little like mini toolkit just in one pocket. And the other pocket, like I said, I would use that for some first aid supplies. Yeah, I highly recommend this pouch if you're going to do the micro thing, which is uh, pretty popular. And, you know, it's just a fun way to get people into the whole idea of being prepared. Now on Amazon, they're calling this the Bienna pouch. I think that might just be the name of the store that sells it. But I will include the link and hopefully that link stays alive. But yeah, this was $10. This is pretty much, if you want like a micro kit container, this is pretty much highly recommended. Next up, we have another uh, micro EDC superstar. This is the Ray Sun pouch, uh, $15. It's actually meant to hold your car keys. We have found other uses for this. Two compartments, Zipper closure, no belt loop on this, but this can hold a lot of micro. What's in it? We got the lighter, we've got the Leatherman squirt, right? And in the other one, uh, we got flashlight, we've got a pry bar. This is a, uh, this thing is a Tinder and a spark wheel. Now, some things you should know about this. This originally came with like a big ass like key fob that was like, it was like this big. And I went ahead and I cut that off using the wire cutters on one of my multi-tools because I want this micro and compact. Also, the, uh, the zipper pulls were like huge on this too. I cut them down to this size zipper pull and uh, uh, this zipper pull actually died in the process. I should have been more careful, but basically you want to cut off the excess crap if you get this. Now, this does not have a belt loop. That's one thing I don't like. However, there is a channel right here that goes all the way through, right? That goes all the way through. So what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to take maybe some gutted paracord or some other material and I'm going to thread it all the way through there and make a loop. And from that, I'm going to basically rig up my own, uh, my own belt loop for this. All right, this is the Case Logic pouch, and it looks like a miniature backpack. I think that's on purpose. And my camera really freaks out <laughs> at, this, at this shade of red. But I've shown this before, but I just had it laying around, and I got curious if this was still available, so I looked it up on Amazon. And yes, it is still available after several years, and $8.00. $8 is very good uh, for this item. It's got a very wide and sturdy belt loop right there. Two compartments with zipper closures. The larger one is just the right size for a large, you know, XL size multi-tool, Super Tool 300, and a flashlight. The smaller compartment can hold uh, medium sized things, such as my Victorinox Ranger. Love that Swiss Army knife. Yeah, so I like the, uh, you know, the size, the compactness, the belt loop, and I also like that this blends in. You know, again, there's sometimes where you, 
you want to look more like a tourist rather than, you know, the SWAT team death squad, uh, you know, Marine recon sniper. All right. So this is one of those blend in with people type uh, friendly pouches. <laughs> Next up, we got the Katon golf ball pouch. You know, I don't play golf, but I know a lot of people who do play golf. And um, from what I understand, it is very addictive. I guess they have a special pouch that, hold, pouch that holds uh, golf balls. I don't know, but we're gonna use it as an EDC type pouch. And this was $8, all right? So not very expensive at all. It's got a loop and a carabiner. It's got two compartments and this will hold your medium sized items. Again, the Victorinox. Oops, full size flashlight and lighter. Well, I guess that's not full size. Full size for the medium category. And then this other compartment will hold your golf ball now. Again, th this other compartment will hold the same size stuff. So a deceptively roomy pouch. The material is fairly thin. And uh, this belt loop, you know, it looks a little bit fragile, but I mean, for $8, I'm, I'm not really going to complain. Just, you know, don't do anything too crazy with it. If you're just around town, it should be okay. All right, wow, that was a lot of damn pouches, but you know, those were only the ones I found that I think will be useful. I also found some crappy pouches, but I'm not gonna waste, I'm not gonna waste time, you know, recommending crap, but just for an example, this has like an open mesh top and the picture for this pouch did not show that. Like the picture made it look like it just had a normal top. So boo, Amazon with one crappy picture. So yeah, you know, if I didn't cover a pouch it's either because I don't own it or there was some bullshit like this. I'm just going to, I'm just going to like rig up something to uh, salvage that. I'm going to put a regular top on it. Yeah, but yeah, this is the cream of the crop. The stuff I show, this is the stuff I actually like. Check out the links. And as I said, they're all very affordable. You can buy all the, like, this is uh, one of my old ZT knives. What's up? Yeah, but you know, you could buy all these for, whoops, I just stab, I just stab a pouch to death. It survived. Pouch test. No, but <laughs> like for the price of one, like, ZT knife, for example, you could buy these, you could buy all these uh, several times over. All right, so that's one thing I like you, with pouches. You know, I, I can just try out what I need to try out and uh, hone in on the best ones. All right, YouTube, well, that was fast and furious. I really hope you enjoyed this. And you know, I don't know how long this video will be, but it's, it's as long as it takes. Hey, I spoke fast. I crammed in a lot of info. So as long as it, it takes to give you all the info, please check out the links if you did like this video, they help support the channel, and um, you don't have to buy the pouch in the link. Right? That's not how the links work. I don't care if you buy any specific pouch. If you click on the link and browse around, basically whatever you buy from that trip will help support the channel. Okay, so that's why people say do your normal shopping through those links. All right, this has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.